Okay, now we're gonna set up. Um, we're gonna set up a, a project in a in a job on Run Deck that is going to run as a another user. So for this use case, um, I have some scripts that need to run as other users on the local machine, and by default, Run Deck is gonna run the scripts as the Run Deck user that we set up. So to get it to run as a different user, we're gonna do a couple things. Let's log in here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a job here. So let's see, let's do a new job. We'll call this one test two. two. And we're gonna say execute a local command. And the local command that we're going to execute it's going to be an sudo. And I'll show you here. So we're going to do sudo. We're going to use minus i so that it runs in the user's environment. We're going to do a minus u, and we're going to run this command as the user Thomas. The command that we're going to do as a test is I'm going to run a bash shell. Minus c tells it to run a command. And then we're going to echo hello to a temp. Uh, test file just to make sure it's getting written as the proper user and not the run deck user. So once we save that, we can create this test two job. And before um, that will work, we need to um, edit the su doers file. And in the su doers file, we need to do the run deck user and we need to say all equals all colon all okay and then we're going to say no pass wd colon all so that's going to allow the run that's going to allow the run deck user to uh, su do without a password save that and then let's watch the temp directory here and wait for our file so let's run this and see if it works okay it says it's okay so here it is the test file was created as the user Thomas and it was ran from run deck so that's a way that we can execute scripts as another user. Um, something to know is if you are going to run a script as a user that has a no login, you'll want to check that. So um, it won't, as you do, um, it's not going to allow you to run it with a no login. So if there's a no login here, um, say, here's a good example. Um, if we're running Apache server as the dub 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 um, user, we would have to um, change that in order for it to execute properly.